You are listening to Mix 96 FM. It's just before 9 o'clock here on the Morning Crew. In that last little stop set there, you heard a couple things I want to highlight. Hothead Burritos right here in Jackson. Don't forget, as part of their Christmas celebration, I heard Santa Claus is a fan of burritos and bowls. And he's going to be there Saturday. Is that you, Santa is Claus? Is that you, Santa Claus? Oh, they say he's going to be there. The last chance, one of the last chance to get to see the big guy. Mm. 12 to 4, I believe, on Saturday. He's going to be at Hotheads in Jackson. So swing by, get your belly full with some burritos or a bowl. And uh, have some fun there. And, of course, yep. the canteen is open, so enjoy some time with oh, your friends yeah. and maybe a couple beverages as well while you're there. Get a, get a, buy Santa a margarita, maybe a I, sweet I, and a deal I a little think bit, they so. might have gotten rid of them, but they used to have those Mountain Dew margaritas. That's true. Yeah. I don't know if they still do or not, yeah. but I know at one point they did. Well, they're going to have to introduce them to, to, to tequila then, if not. So. Oh, that's true. Oh, yeah. If not, <laughs> if nothing else. Tequila. So. And then uh, also don't forget Franklin Valley Golf Course, located right outside Jackson there on Franklin Valley Road. Memberships available for the new year, and of course, what a great present that would be! Gift cards available as well, and I believe hats and golf balls on sale in the pro shop right now too. So, get your man or your favorite golfer or something, and uh, celebrate the holiday season with Franklin Valley Golf Course. But do that after you go see Santa Claus at Hot Head Burritos on Saturday. Hey, we're coming up on nine o'clock, so we got to celebrate some birthdays. Should we ask for Sir Paul's help? Sure, Sir Paul, would you do the honors, my friend? For anybody in the audience who's got a birthday today, happy birthday to you! That's right. Of course, we're live on Facebook right now, so thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for being a part of the crew. We're glad you're here, and we need to let you know who our local celebrities are, and tell you, of course, who's famous around the world that you might have heard of as well. People celebrating birthdays like talk show host Phil Donahue. Now, there's oh, a name you haven't wow. heard for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Phil Donahue turned 88 years old. That's surprising that yep, he, so. I figured he'd be older than that. Yep, nope. I remember growing up, my parents loved Donahue, and I remember having to suffer through that as a kid and <laughs> not understanding it. Now I find myself watching the same freaking shows. That's right. And my kids are going, why are we watching this? Because it's interesting stuff to talk about. <laughs> so, Did I see something, speaking of like Phil Donahue, that uh, was it Mari Povich did like a... Um, some kind of birth announcement or something for a, a whale or, or uh, I don't know. I must have missed that one. Zoo. I have must to, have missed that I'll one. see if I can't find that one. I must one. have missed that one. So, <laughs> Hey, Jane Fonda, Hanoi Jane herself, turned 86 years old today. Okay. And still protesting something. It's hard uh, to tell what she's protesting. I'm sure. But, uh, I'm she's sure. 86 years old. She's still got a mouth on her. Josh Mostel from Billy Madison and Big Daddy's turning 77 today. Samuel L. Jackson, the mother yeah, herself, right. turning 75 years old today. Oh my gosh, is he 75? 75. 75. Holy crap. So, actor Dennis Pustakaris from Better Call Saul is turning 71 today. Actress Jane Kazmarek from Malcolm in the Middle. She played the mom on Malcolm in the Middle. Mm-hmm. Turning 68 today. Actor and comedian Ray Romano. Raymond! Yes. Raymond! Everybody loves Raymond, turning 66 today. Drummer Murph from Dinosaur Jr. is 59. Guitarist Gabrielle Glazer from Luscious Jackson is 58. Actress Michelle Hurd from Law & Order SVU, turning 57. Kiefer Sutherland, one of those 80s actors, turning 57 today. Carrie Turner from JAG is 57. Singer and guitarist Brett Scallions from Fuel is 52. Singer Lucas Rossi from TV's Rockstar Supernova, turning 47. Actress Rutina Wesley from Queen Sugar and True Blood is 45. Actor Steven Yun from The Walking Dead, played Glenn on The Walking Dead. Okay. Turning 40 today. I never watched The Walking Dead. So, yeah, well, be, be glad you did because you would have got attached to Glenn. And let's see. <laughs> they all died. I got my they? eye on you, Glenn. <laughs> I got my eye on you. And Caitlin Deaver from Last Man Standing turning 27 today. But here's one for you Andy Dick, comedian Andy Dick, turning 58 years old today. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> hopefully he's chilling out and being more of an Andy, not such a bad guy these yeah, days. Yeah, that would be so, great. That'd be great. Seems to find his way to get in trouble. Multiple times. You got by you want to shout well, out speaking today? Speaking of bad guys, our good friend Morgan Washam has uh-huh. a birthday today. Morgan Washam celebrating his birthday. My cousin Ashley Grimm celebrating her birthday today. One of my high school math teachers, Ed Yates, is celebrating his birthday from Florida today. And Mel Smalley celebrating a birthday today as well. Oh, good. J.R. Swisher celebrating his birthday today. Uh, former Jackson softball coach Donnie Coons celebrating a birthday today as well. And Colin Leach from right here in Jackson, celebrating his birthday today. And I think we had one called in today. I want to say happy birthday today 
to Cheyenne Perkins of Wellston, who's turning 28 years old. Okay. And Cheyenne was turned in by Kyson and Brooks. So we're going to say happy birthday and congratulations today to Cheyenne Perkins of Wellston. She's going to be taking us some cool stuff from our friends at McDonald's of Wellston. If you happen to see Cheyenne or any of the individuals that we mentioned today out there and about, wish them a happy birthday and let them know you heard about her right here on Mix 96 FM. Let's get some legal stuff out of the way. If it plays it. There we go. Broadcasting from the Telegram News Studios at the Stockmeister Plaza, Southern Ohio's best music mix is on Mix 96. WKOV FM, Oak Hill, Jackson, Wellston, and MacArthur. A Jackson County Broadcasting Station. My computer's been lagging a little bit. I'll click on a button and it won't play. And then like all of a sudden, like, oh, yeah, hey, I should play. So. I'm telling you, that's, I think that's part of the problem we had yesterday if you yeah, were tuning so. in that uh, – I think part of that issue with the microphone feed had to do with internet. Could it's be. just a little slow yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, well, well, well. I think maybe that. Yeah. Could be. Hey, you want to do some history stuff? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do some history. Here we go. This date in history. This date in 1959, the 10th largest snowfall in New York City history occurs. I can tell you I'm glad that it did not snow last weekend in New York City. Oh, yeah, I'm sure of it. <laughs> the NYPD guys are like, enjoy it, man. It's not normally <laughs> like this for us. <laughs> you know, so... They said that it was so cold. It was so cold at that uh, snowfall that they installed a fur trapper cap on Lady Liberty <laughs> so for the day. So. This date in 1970, Elvis Presley drove to the White House to volunteer his services to President Nixon. Yes. To help fight the nation's drug problem. Do you know about this? <laughs> yes, I do. What was Elvis's solution? Later, man. Let me do all them drugs. <laughs> there right, won't be none left that's over. Right, I'll take care. Oh, of oh. So. I'm gonna give Keith Richards a call. So. <laughs> we'll take care of it all for you. Too soon. Oh, no. So, oh, man. Yeah, but 1970, Elvis volunteered to help with the drug problem. Yeah. Okie dokie. Elvis, also, Elvis, I believe, was also a part of trying to get the Beatles banned from America. True. true. That's another story. Hey, this date in 2012, I remember it well, it was the time that people gathered around the planet to mark what they believed was going to be the end of the world. Oh, yeah. Predicted by the end of the Mayan calendar. Mm-hmm. Although, of course... Other than the political spectrum, the actual apocalypse never manifested. I don't know. So, it seems like every couple of years there's some kind of new end of the world. I did double check it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Are we going to end this year? Uh, I haven't no. heard that. No, I haven't okay. heard that yet. So I think we're probably closer to it okay. than we ever have been. With it's all the craziness the end and, of the world as we craziness of the world that we're living in right now. Fine. Last I heard, the apocalypse had not happened yet, even though it may seem like it at times. So. That's good. Of course, I remember 88 reasons why the world was going to end in 88 too. So. <laughs> Those Christian books that was for sale. So, and then of course Y two K. Y two K, personal favorite. We were of mine. waking up on Y two K, and my mom was already up, and I'm like, "Well, did the world end?" And she said, "Nope, nope," because I've got to thinking, you know what? It's already midnight somewhere in the world, so obviously it's here. <laughs> yep, everything turned on. Yeah. So, well, not me. I didn't get turned on that day. You didn't. Well, I might have got turned on, but I didn't have any action. So, <laughs> just leave it at that. 1620, the Pilgrims aboard the Mayflower went ashore for the first time in what is now Plymouth, Massachusetts. Okay. So it's that time of year we celebrate that, of course. Let's see what else we have this year. 1937, the state in history. The first full-length animated feature film and the earliest in the Walt Disney Animated Classics series, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, premiered at the Carthay Circle. Carthay Circle Theater is what it was called. So Okay. Carthay um, Circle Theater. Yep, yeah, so... 1945, George S. Patton, American World War II general. Of course, the man known as Old Blood and Guts. Yeah. Died of congestive heart failure at the age of 60. So. I got nothing. World's most dangerous engineers. He came in, looked at the around, board, shrugged his shoulders. Shrugged his shoulders and, and walked out. And walked away. So. That happens. Uh, 1968, Apollo 8 was launched from Cape Kennedy. Has it made its way to man's first orbit of the moon? Really? They did that like three days before Christmas? Yeah, apparently so. Okay, four days. 1985. Say you, say me. Yeah. Put it together. Yeah. Now, well, Lionel Richie. Yeah, Lionel Richie picked it number one. 1988. I remember this one as well. 270 people were killed when a terrorist bomb exploded aboard Pan Am 747. Okay. Over Lockerbie, Scotland. Yes. Remember that one, so. Uh, let's see what else here. 2006, Miss Nevada USA Katie Rees was stripped of her title by the Miss Universe organization after racy photos of her appeared on the internet. 
Of course, these days, that'd be normal, probably. Uh, this date in 2009, the Obama administration imposed a three-hour limit on how long airlines could keep passengers waiting inside planes that were delayed on the ground. Okay. I see how well that's ended. Yeah, so. right, right. 2012. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Gangnam Style. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 2012 is when that reached 1 billion views on YouTube. Oh, my gosh. I don't yeah. miss that one at I all. I do not. No, I do not. My no. favorite version of that, I got to tell you, is when the Marching 110 did it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, that was yes. Fun. I think it was 2016 they so did were it. Were you biased at that point in time? I'm was... always biased because it's the 110, but I was <laughs> in particularly you, interested say, extra, in the drum line. I say, were you extra yeah. biased that yeah. year? So. I sure was. I get it. I get it. <laughs> yeah. 2012, Flava Flav's Chicken and Ribs opened in Sterling Heights, Michigan. Okay. I didn't know Flavor Flav I had a restaurant. I didn't know that either. Something makes me want to go to Sterling Heights, Michigan and see if it's still there. So. Yeah, boy. What? Uh, let's see 2014 The Battle of the Five Armies the last film in the Hobbit series grossed over 90 million dollars in its first five days of release I found myself going how in the world did we make this many movies out of a 125 page book (laughs) but they did 90 million dollars later after the last one (laughs) absolutely yep so and of course now they've done at least one season of of another Lord of the Rings era type thing hey what is this is there like a, another Harry Potter thing that's happening right now? What is that? Like a TV show on Disney? What is, um, no, Percy what, Jackson. Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, which is okay. based on the Percy Jackson book series, which my daughter is going crazy over right okay. now. They a few years ago they had Percy. They had a, they had two Percy Jackson movies: Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, and Percy Jackson and I forget what it was. But it's like modern day mythology. I just knew it seemed so, very Harry Potter. Yeah, when I was it's not. It's at not it. that. It's it's. Greek mythology, he is the son of Poseidon and somebody else. I, okay, I think. I it's, guess I, we've talked about it. I just was it's, seeing. It's, stuff it looks re- it looks time. really good. The the, the, the so. Disney Plus version looks looks really good. So, but that is out. But there is actually, of course, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which yes. is the stage play that's playing in New York City and getting ready to go on tour. And I believe they're making it into a movie as well. If I'm if I'm right. Oh, uh, I haven't I haven't seen it. I guess I'll find out later. Could be wrong. So. But anyway, hey, if you're looking to celebrate today, it is Crossword Puzzle Day. Okay, Crossword Puzzle. That'd be good. Are you good at Crossword Puzzles? I am really good at Sudoku, but not Crossword Puzzles. Sudoku, yeah. I'm not good at either one of them. So Uh, it is Don't Make Your Bed Day, which is pretty much every day in my household. (laughs) Oh, I can't. I can't. It has to be made. Really? No way. (laughs) I I can't. I don't care. uh, It doesn't have to be like straight, perfectly tucked, but the covers have have to be be covering the mat. Like, I can't. Half the time, it's like, where's the sheet? I don't know. Just it's at the bottom of the bed, but <laughs> the quilt's still on there, right? <laughs> I just it's can't. Forefather's Day, obviously, I'm assuming because of the celebration of the Mayflower, Mayflower. and all okay. that kind of stuff. Let's see that. It is Humbug Day. Oh. Bah, humbug. Bah, humbug. What For do you those, do with Humbug Day? I don't know. You just like hang out grouchy all day. Just, just find your find I your just be myself. Find your <laughs> find your least friendly coworker and. <laughs> bah. Wow. Well, aren't we a little Scrooge today? <laughs> Uh, for those of you that are Doctor Who fans, it's International Dalek Remembrance Day. Okay. So Dalek or Daleks or Daleks? I don't know how you say. It. I never really did watch Doctor Who. They're the little trash can looking robots that kind of look like an R two D two knockoff. But uh, okay. You know, I just pissed off a whole bunch of Doctor Who fans <laughs> out there. But. So what else is new? Uh, it's National Coquito Day. Coquito. Yes, C O Q U I T O. I don't have to look that up. And it's National Flashlight Day. Oh. Which, if you're like my household, you have a flashlight and you can never find it. If you find it, it you can't find it in my house because all the grands get them. (laughs) You know, we'll walk walk them from room to room with the flashlight, making animals on the scene. Oh, animals on the scene. Yeah. Well, we used to lightsaber fight with them. Most likely, you'll find the flashlights in the toy box. (laughs) Yeah, true. (laughs) So, Coquito is a cocktail of some kind. Yeah, it was a cocktail, yeah. Mm. Does that have a percentage? That's (laughs) from Puerto Rican holiday drink which embodies the island's warm and open spirit. I'm trying to figure out what's in it. Heck yeah. I thought you were going to give us the description. So. That's why I'm trying to find it. Um, Where's Siri when you need her? What is... What is... What is... Yeah. What is in, eh? Is Coquita healthier than eggnog? Uh, how to make... I need how to make Coquito or something. Hey, Siri. What's in Coquito? 
Hey Siri. She's not gonna answer me now. <laughs> if I didn't want her to be there. Hey Siri. Siri's being done. It does right look now. really yummy. Oh god. I see if you're watching this live on right this now. This is really, like, really interesting. Oh, it's all right. Fine. It's fine. Um It's a mixed drink of some type. Uh okay. Here we go. It's no little Original Kakito with Bacardi oh. includes yes. <laughs> One liter bottle of Bacardi. Ooh, okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Four cans of cream of coconut. Okay. Two cans of condensed milk. Okay. Two cans of evaporated milk. Okay. Cinnamon to taste. Two tablespoons of vanilla. So it's basically rum and milk with vanilla extract. Puerto Rican eggnog, basically. That's uh, how it sounds like. Well, yeah. It, Minus the eggs. And I think that's kind of... That's but it sounds kind of good, like, actually. You can make yeah. it with, apparently you can make it with Hennessy or you know, chata. <laughs> yeah, rum chata. Yeah, any kind of. Um, rum chata, you could just your knock it out with liquor. coconut water. Okay. Can I make it with liquor 43? Uh, um, as long as you have heavy whipping cream, yes, you can. <laughs> All right. Well, this sounds like this could be fun. I'm, I'm right. We're heading to Josh's out. house for coquitos. All right. I'll go buy the Bac- <laughs> I'll make the Bacardi ones. I've got the canned milk. Do you? <laughs> I, 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 Is it evaporated or sweet and condensed? Which I got them both. Uh, <laughs> I may have to go out and buy a 1.75 that's, that's I told, Bacardi, that's though. I, I told him, I said, we, uh, we, we, did our, we did our grocery shopping yesterday for... Christmas is like, oh, ouch. Yeah. Even worse. Here's part of your Christmas Merry present, Christmas. kids. You yeah, get to eat. Right. Merry Christmas. That's right. Yeah. It is, uh, but it'll be good. It'll Gosh, be good, I was so. thinking of something else I was going to mention to you while we were talking about this stuff, and now I forgot all about it. I'm going to head out. Go, See Josh. you guys. Thanks for stopping in, as always. Right, thanks. You didn't think what it is yet? No, I can't remember. We apparently got gifts on the door, so. Oh, look at that. Awesome. I'm just glad to be present. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, good. You didn't can't think what it is because I don't want to find. No, anyone. that's okay. No. All right. Well, we'll if you think we'll, about it, we'll, we'll, we'll come it. back and talk about it. But right now, ah, uh, one of those Christmas classics that we only hear a few times a year. Here's Gayla Peavy. I don't know about you, but I want a hippopotamus. Oh, for that business. sounds good. 